And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Is It Alliance. It's gonna be our, our next deck. That's right, we're playing some Improbable Alliance Is It. Of course, with Improbable Alliance, uh, it does reward you for drawing two cards a turn. Whenever you do that, you get to create a 1-1 one, one blue fairy creature token with flying. And then, of course, we're playing some Iron Crag Pyromancers also. Whenever we draw our second turn, we get to uh, basically cast Lightning Bolt. We get to Lightning Bolt something. So that's what our deck's built around. Those are, uh, yeah, like those are like the key cards of what we got going on here. Uh, to help those out, we have our ways to draw extra cards. Of course, we have Opt, a very good one mana spell. Royal Scions can trigger those two over and over again, turn after turn. Crackling Drakes, a, a good flyer, they can trigger them. Um, and it's like those, those are our main ways. Of course, we have Thrill of Possibility as well. I am taking out Shock to play Bonecrusher Giant instead, because I think Bonecrusher Giant is just a much more powerful spell than Shock. But that does hurt my Crackling Drakes, not having Shocks to be able to grow them. So I don't actually have a ton of instants and sorceries now that I think about it with the Crackling Drakes here with replacing Shock with Bonecrusher Giant. So we'll see how the Crackling Drakes really fare. Um, but then the top end, you know, Rao can keep on... Rao can give us a good amount of card advantage with the plus one, and then now I guess the minus three is not going to be as good, but the plus one can give us a good amount of card advantage. Um, but then the top end, I want to go with a couple of can't be countered spells. Chandra's pretty obvious, really like Chandra, but I'm actually going to try a commence the end game to be an instant that also is a draw two, so it can trigger our um, improbable alliance and pyromancer right away. Can, and can make a big creature, but also can't be countered. Like, there's just a lot of counter spells right now. Oh, yeah, there's just basically a lot of people playing counter spells. And so I want some can't be countered spells up there. Could be play, we could play like Niv Mizzet as well, but I'm going with Commence the End Game, going with one of those in the um, main and one in the sideboard also. I really like how it's instant speed being able to put down a threat that maybe the opponent doesn't see coming. Uh, sideboard against control decks or just counterspell heavy decks. We got some negates. We got some disputes. A couple of Nar sets can go in there as well if we don't need as much removal. If we don't need all these coils and iron crag pyromancers and stuff like that against control decks. Um, then obviously Ether Gust and Fry do their things. And against aggro, we got a couple flame sweeps in here. Pretty good mana in blue red. So that's what our deck's about. We're going to just play a league here. We're going to play until we either win five or lose two. So we're going to play a league. See how this. See how this works out. <laughs> yeah, I'll... Uh, we, we figured out the webcam problem from earlier, but we have not figured out the, the slight scratchiness of the microphone. If you're watching on YouTube and you you have ideas for that, let me know. Um, the the main the main idea that we have right now is I need to go to the the blue website and see if there's any drivers that I need to update. And that's our that's our plan right now. That I'll be doing that. Uh, try to do that tomorrow before the stream. <laughs> Just add four black castles to the deck for extra card draw. There we go. That would work. Well, like we said before, there's a lot of counterspell decks running around in the format. So I'm glad our top end... Yeah, get him, Cerebus. Glad our top end is just a bunch of spells that cannot be countered. It's good to get these Thrill of Possibilities out of my hand before they counter them. Because, of course, if you have to discard a card and then it gets countered and you don't don't get to draw your two cards, that's pretty devastating. So I just want to get those out of my hand first. Like, basically, while, while they're tapped out here. Hey, Thor, I'm doing great. 
Yeah, I'm doing great. The new PC is feeling really good. Alright, we have more information about what we need to draw. I don't want that. Ral would have been my best card to play. But in into likely counter spells, I'm just playing the Crackling Drake. Don't worry, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Frisky Biscuits. You like a bolt out of the blue. Get here. Trust me, I have a plan. Could be a matchup where I just want to peek. The weight is killing me. Where just an emblem can do a lot of damage. I'm kind of expecting planar cleansing here. I know who I am, and no one is telling me what we'll be able to give them an emblem even if they do have planar cleansing. And, you know, kills their Teferi, so warm in here. it's not like they, they don't get that great of value from it. We're gonna need more Chandra's, get more emblems. Let me synthesize the facts. Stand by it. Let's try this. Plan for the trials ahead. More crackling drakes. That's not Chandra. I think I want to mm, a quest of mystery. At thirty one. Emblems. If you haven't heard of me, then get ready to meet my <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> kind of forcing them to play planar cleansing again. Which would kill their borrower, also. This might be a bad idea. No, should 
No, Chandra minus three. No, the emblem is much more valuable. We gotta get the gotta get them emblems. Dang, that was a good turn for them. Planar cleansing plus counter spell plus counter spell. Chandra Emblem to finish this out. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Castle Ardenvale is pretty awesome. dead we got we have two chandra emblems on them they unfortunately had the planar cleansing immediately for each one Not dead. More like it. All the vetoes. Are they out? So no, they can have one more veto. I mean, I'd rather them use veto than absorb, of course. Ooh, that Tranquil Cove is pretty big. We bought two more turns with the Absorb plus Tranquil Cove. But as far as a card getting absorbed, I don't mind that one getting absorbed. Let's 
try this. Right, I guess they're gonna kill us faster than we're gonna kill them. Now. We put up a good fight, though, for game one with us having a whole bunch of red spells. This matchup definitely gets a, a lot better for us post-board. Bringing in all the, the blue spells. Um... We got to, we have to um, try to not have the Chandra's get planar cleansing immediately again. I don't love Thrill of Possibility because if it gets countered, it's, it's really, really bad for us. We're gonna get rid of those. I guess an alliance? Yeah, I mean, Scions... I could take out a Scions. Scions... I think either alliance or a Scions. Alliance, I mean, just a, a few 1-1s one -ones is pretty slow. Let's take out an alliance. Um... Scions helps turn on the, the other things the Pyromancer and, and the Alliance and stuff like that. They go pretty well together. All right, come on, land. Yeah. Can really use a fourth land also. So basically I'm debating, do I play Royal Scions right now? Because if I do, it definitely resolves, but they could play a Teferi. I think that's okay that they could play a Teferi. Obviously, our life would be better if they don't have Teferi. Yeah, life's better. can't be countered hmm. what is my strategy here we're working towards this royal scions ultimate yeah 
yuck. Well, they got us. Fortunate. It seems you don't think so. Let me synthesize the facts. Let us plan for the trials ahead. Well, they don't have. They don't have another white yet for for planar cleansing. Looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. But obviously I'm all in here. Mm. Hurts. Great turn for our opponent. Ah. Just get out of here. I want to see notifications. Hey, Frisky Biscuits, thank you so much for gifting out the sub. Bibonio, welcome to the channel. It's our 14th sub of the day. What they do, they, did, they opted. I should have done this pre-combat, so I could have done the second plus one. Just some crappy land, please. Not a good card. Don't give me a good card. That's a good card. Should have done that pre-combat and then ticked up. There. Yeah, I still could have used the second plus one, but I think at that point it's it tells it tells too much about what I have and what's going on if I use the second plus one. I think it's too. Um, I think it gives away too much information. the end game is obviously much much worse now that we can't play at instant speed that's a sorcery and that they get to play all their cards as instance as instance um. 
that's no surprise to fairy making your cards a lot worse. No surprise there. I've got time. Yeah, the t thankfully the Teferi was too low of loyalty to bounce it, but yeah, they get to bounce it there. Our deck's pretty cool, though. I like these cards that we're playing. Alright, Fairy's out of here. That's good for Commence. And that's fine. I guess their Castle Ardenvale... Kind of shuts down commence though. Yeah, Niv, Niv would, have, would have been better than Commence both these times. It it would have. I am not going to yeah. oh, I've done the hero Wanted to try something new, but yeah, I think yeah, Niv Niv would be better. Chandra's just kind of the best, though. If they were just more Chandra's, that'd probably even be better. I'm Chandra, the immolation sensation. Get out of my way. Or, you know, don't. All right. I gotta run seven Shandies next time. <laughs> the sweetest five words in English. This spell can't be countered. <laughs> oh, Licked, I'm sorry I didn't see your message before. Um, I am so sorry to, to hear that your mother passed away yesterday. Um... Yeah, I, I am. I'm honored that I could be a, a source of distraction for you and everything, and um, yeah, hopefully she gets some some rest as you as you said, and and yeah, I'm real sorry to hear that. But, but I will continue to be here for you each and every day. Let's get rid of a commence with us having two lands. Drake's good, but we need more lands. I'll keep the Drake, though. 
and rely on some ops to find us more lands. I'm shocking he in here with the steam vents to kind of present some strength. Card's good, but I need land. We'll probably draw land. Famous last words. Yeah. Your barber didn't even go on an adventure? My Bone Crusher Giant's going on in an adventure. Get him, Giant. Alright, now their borrower's going on an adventure, but they take two. And I get my Bone Crusher back, so that's cool. I'll go ahead and play the borrower. Go ahead. Nothing bad's gonna happen to it, I promise. Land? Ugh. Did not get there. Gadwick. It's a good refill hit there. Mm. No, I was going to have to go to discard if I didn't play anything with the Bone Crusher Giant there. Uh, 25 lands in the deck. Hey, that's awesome, Sullyfur. Yeah, congrats. Stay 
back. I'm an explosively good pyromancer. Make some more room to fight. We'll gotta do a lot of damage with the 8 8. <clears throat> Probably a planar cleansing here, but then we're gonna start dropping drakes. If it's not a planar cleansing, we're looking golden. If they just pass. Even if they go like even if they just kill the 8-8. Eight eight, if we just get to give them an emblem, we're looking very good. They may have like a Gadwick and they're trying to decide like how big to make a Gadwick. That would kind of be bad for me because they, you know, get to draw tons and tons of cards. Yep. Well, thanks for letting me untap. Counter. Uh, no, yeah, mono mono red's not not in the best position right now, as it's been you know like it's it's not real strong like it has been over the last few years. I may I may fry strip I may fry still. I just don't I don't you know it's an instant I d didn't need to do it right then. I kind of wait and see what they do. Obviously, with the Teferi being played, we have to do something ab about that. So I'm gonna, fr I'm gonna fry the Gadwick. I'm no um, excellent tank. This might be a bad idea. I mean, they could have bounced the token. I mean, yeah, they, like they have the, yeah, like, <laughs> it's pretty obvious they're gonna be planar cleansing, but they could have bounced the token. Let me synthesize the facts. All right, nine turns with the Chandra emblems. I had, well, yeah. Thank you so much there for the offer, DB. I, I, I don't do coaching. Um. That is that is very 
That is a very generous offer, though. But I, I basically have just... Um, I've just been spending all the time that I, that I would be playing for magic, or that I'd be using for magic. I'd be just been spending all the time um, streaming. Um. But I don't know. Let me let me think about that. DBJ, let me let me think about that. I want Ral to resolve to be able to kill the Gadwick. There's not a very high probability of Ral resolving, as you could tell. Alright, emblem down to eight. Yeah, and of course they're just going for the race. I have one more commence, one more Chandra, as far as can't be countered spells. Uh, one more Fry, also. I've used one Negate and two Dispute, and I think I have three of each. As far as counter magic goes, Dispute isn't doing a whole lot. Gadwick's so strong. So six. Courage is the greatest virtue. Aye, with the knowledge to direct it. To know is to triumph. So I want to lead with the Royal Scions, so then, like, if they they don't counter the Royal Scions, hopefully I do something else. Let's make this quick. I've got other things to burn. The third Gadwick. Third Brazen Borrower also. Ready to 
go toe to toe with me? Hmm. I, mean, I guess it's just a, a draw two. Again, now we have to play sorcery speed because of the Teferi. And then, like, the Teferi is just going to bounce it, also. Need more Chandras. Or did visit. Ugh. Gadwick. Trust me, so devastating. Oh, that's got to be game now. I needed that thing to kill. Yeah, that's game. I needed that thing to kill Gadwick. All right, so what we learned was Gadwick is awesome. That's one thing, but we learned the commence the end games were not very good. Uh, basically because of Teferi. I couldn't couldn't play them instant speed. Really, they should just be more Chandras. We should just be playing more Chandras. So even if Mizzet just gets can get bounced by Teferi and stuff, um, I think Chandra's just the way to go. But yeah, the the can't be countered clause is quite valuable right now. Hexproof Druid. Obviously, would have loved to cast the Bone Crusher Giant there, but. Yeah, that was a close match, for sure. That was a very close match. And yeah, I don't think Commence is that bad either. But I think I think that six mana Chandra would have, would have just been better. Uh, each every time we had commence, we would have rather had six mana Chandra. So in the deck right now, there's there's two commence in the seventy five. There's two commence and two six mana Chandra, and I think those should just be four six mana Chandras. Yeah, another counter spell heavy deck. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of counter spells running around.
I could see playing Niv Mizzet instead of Ral, honestly. With this metagame. I could see playing like two Niv Mizzets instead of the two Rals. And then Or like just kinda basically instead of I have six slots for for Ral and Chandra. And maybe mixing in Niv Mizzets and, and Chandra's. Yeah, Niv can yes, Niv can also not be countered. <laughs> Ral's a nerd. That was a pretty good card, though. As so we play this, so we play around Quench and Dispute. No, not at all, Choco. That's not bad at all. So yeah, I think I should have just leaned in harder into the can't be countered thing. But also um every single thing we play, my opponent sits there. I want to cast the opt first because I and get the scry in because obviously I'm just going to put the Ral back on top and I want it there. But I want to get the scry in uh, first with like the card that we don't know about. <laughs> yeah, we've been facing a lot of a lot of Ether Gust. Does it resolve? Who knows? It seems like my opponent has like a slow connection. I think that's what it is. I don't think it's necessarily my opponent's thinking forever whether or not to sabotage, like, you know, this kind of stuff. Like, it, it kind of feels like my opponent has like a delayed connection. That's what it's felt like this whole time. Because it's every, every single card. It's kind of like that. I could shock and then be able to play around Dispute. But as you can tell, life total is going to matter. Hmm. 
Six, we have two mana left. You wonder if some people are playing two games at once, like on two arena accounts? I mean, used to do that a lot with Magic Online, double Q, triple Q, because you could, you know, have different different games up with the same account. Um, arena, though, how it, how like expensive and kind of difficult it is to acquire cards on Arena, I would be very surprised if people have multiple accounts. But yeah, the rails didn't look so great there. I'm getting countered and everything. This deck overall seemed pretty good. I just think I'm I'm a f just a couple of top end cards off. Honestly, that's what it's kind of felt like. Just a couple of top end cards off. Scrag to the top. Our bond was forged in battle. <laughs> My plan is crystallizing. Yeah, yeah, it's possible we could come back if they don't have removal. They do. Hey, Zythan. Thank you so much for that sub there. I appreciate that. All right, disputes, commence, negate. This is kind of tough matchup to, let's sideboard out these rows. This is kind of tough to kind of sideboard for though, because like Pyromancer could be pretty good here. Like, like the blue-white control sideboarded out there. Like, the red spells all have targets here. Uh, Zythan makes it our 15th sub of the day. We'll take out... We'll kind of just trim around the edges. We'll just take out one Royal Scions, one Pyromancer, one Bone Crusher Giant... Um, I do like Alliance. Hmm. Maybe Pyromancer is great. Maybe I just take out Bone Crushers. We'll do that. Oh, Thrill of Possibility. I should be taking out Thrill of Possibility because that thing getting countered is really rough. I should have taken I should put that roll silence back in and take out a thrill. cast this right now before they counter it. I guess I could have just discarded the other thrill. Hmm. 
Hmm. I think where I'm at, like with the Chandra and everything, I'm gonna put that to the bottom. Hey, Scario. So the worst case scenario is that they have a wolf here. That's the wolf. That's the worst case scenario for me. So I'm gonna throw the crackling drake in here. You know, of course this could get countered. But then they they're not playing a wolf. At least. So I can use Chandra to, to clean up this board. I want to do the damage to Nyssa so that my Crackling Drake actually is lethal on the Nyssa. Hmm. Well, that thing's a problem. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just realized these lands are elementals. Y'all are probably telling me that in chat, weren't you? <laughs> yep, yep. Y'all are telling me that in chat. Uh... Well, at least I didn't... Uh, but yeah, now I, I definitely regret the attack. Um... Hmm. Yeah, that makes my life worse. I'm glad I can help with your not being on fire pop. That makes my life worse.
So now I wish I just wish I didn't attack with a crackling Drake. Um, I have no idea why they did not attack me. Hope it's not too hot for you. I just have no idea why they didn't attack me. Yeah, if, they, if we didn't just, if I didn't just throw away the other Crackling Drake, it would at least be a 6-4 right now and be able to trade with the Graces. If I didn't throw it away. Like, we're going to be 0-2 here, but I, I like our deck and I like... I just think I need to change the top end. I think I think that we could have had pretty good matchups here against against these decks that that we're facing. I think I, I'm just playing some wrong top end cards. So let's fix those, and then we'll play we'll play another match over in in ranked. We'll play one more match with this deck. We'll see. Hopefully, we play against the counter spell deck again. Um, so we don't want Ral or Commence or this Commence, and I want, I want two Chandras and Niv. So basically... Yeah, we're just going to have two Nivs, three Chandras in the main, and then the extra Chandra in the board still. So yeah, basically taking out the taking out the sideboard commence with a Chandra, and then taking out the commence and the two Rals for two Nivs and a Chandra. The Crackling Drakes have still been real good, even though we're playing Bone Crusher Giant instead. So let's play another match over in ranked here. All right, I'm gonna update our deck list command. So yeah, let's take out the Ral is at Viceroy's and the commence the end games. So we'll see if we're playing Playing a counterspell heavy deck, hopefully. Just so we can we can try this out. Cause like the game like the game one like we would have won game one pretty easily if we would have just if we would have had those different changes. Like the Rouse cost us. Alright, I'm updating the deck list command. Dreadhorde Invasion. Yep. Uh, Niv Mizzet Perun. That's how you pronounce that, just Perun. I appreciate Queen Victor to know his betrayal. You could say that our draws have been pretty basic since our opening hand. Let me synthesize the fact. Pretty basic.
Yeah, that's the thing is like improbable alliance can be pretty powerful, especially when you can get multiple of them out there, you know, like with this this whole uh, engine stuff going. We haven't had that so far, but now we do. Rowan, help! Rowan, help. I will help. learn what nobody yet knows. Playing against Rakdos, a mass. Cover my back, Rowan. Rowan. To know is to triumph. What does this have? Your zombie tokens have death touch. That's cool. I'm constantly calling judges during FNM for opponents' mispronunciations. <laughs> Roman, help! Help! of mystery. It's unfortunate. I know who I am. And no one is telling me what to do. I've got a burning desire to finish you. Yeah, I guess I could have blocked the 2-2 last turn. Yeah, I guess I could have. I was playing fast. Fast and loose. That's what we're doing when we're real far ahead like this. <clears throat> Dreadhorde twins. Now the zombie tokens have trample. Alright, now Judith's gone. My Pyromancer is not going to die. Synthesize the facts. Man. Poor Bone Crusher Giant. I'm sorry, I think your forward closed vowel was a tad off. I don't think you announced a legal target at all. Okay, well that was, that went very well. I'd have to say, we'll take out a couple Bone Crushers for the Flame Sweeps, and maybe a fourth Chandra instead of Niv Mizzet. But that went really well. For Mono Red Sideboard. Um, the, uh, let's see, here you go. This deck that we played earlier with mono red, you can see the sideboard that we have there. Um, yeah, Kendis here in chat plays a whole lot of mono red that can also kind of uh, give you some pointers with sideboard stuff. Um, But that stuff helps. I, I do like the 
uh, what's the card called? <laughs> Shows how much I like the card. Immolation Shaman. I think that's a pretty cool sideboard card against the Witch's Oven decks. But yeah, Chandra, Fire Artisan, Experimental Frenzy, um, even three mana Chandra, Legion War Boss can be a good sideboard card. Tybalt can do some stuff. <laughs> Brazen Buccaneer. Still telling you that it should have been Brazen Buccaneer, not Brazen Borrower, as I, I called it that the first. You know, 12 days. Never said the right name for that card. What do I think of Tithe as a sideboard card? Mana Tithe? That's probably not it. Tithe Taker? That mono red was standard. Let us plan for the trials ahead. Smothering type? That one's also pretty good. Bleh. All right, so of course I need a lava coil. This thing now. Before it gets out of hand. Ugh. I maybe should not have discarded the land. Now I don't get to do anything else. But I have I have to cast lava coil that turn. Good card. Tithe Taker against the Cat Oven decks. It, <clears throat> it only affects them on your turn. Um, but it's it's very easy to kill with Mayhem Devil, so I don't think it's a great choice. Like I don't I don't think it's anything special because of how easy it is to kill with Mayhem Devil. <laughs> yes, yeah, these Pyromancers have been awesome. That's what I want. More land. Yeah, like there's this like a mass animation now. Hmm. I'm Chandra, the immolation sensation. I guess I could have played around that better than I did.
So emblem does one. Is this just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? Dreadhorde invasion does one. And there we go. All right, well, we played against a different type of deck than the Counterspell deck, but still, I, I think this deck's pretty good. Uh, you know, like, we'll we'll move on for today uh, with, you know, hour 22 minutes still with the video. Um, but yeah, even though we just went 1-2, I liked this deck. I thought it was pretty good. I think that my top end was just incorrect to begin with. And that, that this could have really made a big difference, having Niv-Mizzets, more Chandra's and Niv-Mizzets instead of uh, commence the end game and Rao is at Viceroy. So I'm going to play this deck again soon. I'll play this um, probably like Tuesday or so. Yeah, we sh I want to play this deck again because I think there's a lot going on good for this deck. Um, but I think that, I yeah, I just think I had the wrong top end before but that's all right um still so those y'all playing on like those y'all watching on youtube if you're if you're watching the deck uh if you're trying it yourself you know of course y'all in chat also if you're uh using this deck let me know how it goes for you um if you're playing it over there uh let me know in the comments and everything because i think this this deck's pretty strong honestly it felt it felt good when i was playing the games i just think i had the wrong like we the matches we lost i think if we changed our our top end we could have won but anyway there there we go that's is it alliance you'll see this deck again soon i enjoyed playing it and i think that uh i you know want to give it some more try um uh but uh you know hit that like button over there leave those comments i'd appreciate both of those and besides that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video